Let me ask you a very simple question. What is, Fibonacci sequence? It's just a child play, in a sense, that you add, last two numbers and you get a number as the member of Fibonacci series. It's an infinite series, with numbers like, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21 and so on. But this child play becomes interesting when you try to do something with these numbers. For example, by squaring all of the numbers in Fibonacci series, you can have a very beautiful spiral pattern at the end. And that's what we are going to do in this video. Let's first square Fibonacci numbers. And we get. Now, consider. These are the sizes of real squares like shapes. If we draw these squares in such a manner, that, at least one side of each square touches some other square alongside it, we get a spiral pattern. Let's draw squares of, Fibonacci numbers in such pattern, using GeoGebra. In GeoGebra, we'll draw a square of 1, first, using one unit of grid. Because, we have two ones in sequence, we'll draw another square of 1, alongside it. In Fibonacci sequence, our next square is the square of 2. So, we draw, the square of 2, in such a manner that it touches, the first two squares along. We can see, that the square of 2, covers four grids under it. In sequence, our next square is the square of 3. It will cover, 9 grid units because the square of 3 is 9. The next one is, the square of 5. So, following the sequence, we can draw as many squares as we like. Now, we can draw the spiral pattern, using GeoGebra's command, circular sector. Another interesting point about this pattern is, that it's a very famous pattern, regarding its ratios. The ratio between these squares is called the golden ratio. It's very common consideration among people, and even in mathematicians, that the golden ratio is found, everywhere in nature. <laughs> 